we call taxi. Now going to the airports of St. Petersburg from where we will fly to Rostov on Don. Landed to the airports of Rostov on Don. Finish, my friend. Спасибо. <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is an early morning in Rostov, but here we came only back to meet Russell, Russell Bentley, also known as Texas. Yes, he is the guy from Texas who are now the residents of DNR. Hello, hello Russell. Здравствуйте, so братан. So we're on our way from Rostov to Donetsk. We're gonna stop off at a couple of big monuments on the way to the heroes of the Great Patriotic War. So guys, we are going to Donetsk, DNR, and that's going to be really exciting, really exciting. So come on, let's go. They liberated their country from German occupation in 1943. Um, it was, you know, the Russians did 80% of the fighting against the German Nazi army. So really, they're the ones who won the Second World War. Everybody else, France, Canada, Britain, they just helped. But all those people combined did 20% of the fight and Russia did 80%. And that is a historical fact. It was only, you know, 75 years ago. People here have not forgotten. And people should never forget. So now we will switch to another car. We came to almost customs, the customs line from Russia to DNR. Oh, yeah, okay. So, come on, chef. Now staying on the border at customs control of DNR. We went through the Russian customs control, now DNR control. We had an interesting process uh, getting through the border. Uh, first off, uh, on the uh, Russian side, um, basically I had to uh, do a pretty thorough search of my baggage uh, to make sure I wasn't bringing in any kind of a contraband. But then, uh, but then the uh, Russians were very curious about uh, about why I was here. They don't often see uh, a U.S. passport coming into DNR, and then also what my association was with uh, with Russell and uh, Sergey. So it took a little while to explain everything. Uh, they were somewhat, I think, amused by it, our explanation. Okay, so but uh, uh, they eventually figured it out and decided we were okay and good to go. Uh, then, basically, the same process again on the uh, DNR side. Uh, Fortunately, uh, Russell had uh, worked out in advance uh, a clearance for me to get in, but still the uh, border guard or the border official had to do uh, ask us a lot of questions, and uh, not just me, but Russell and, and also Sergey, to figure out uh, exactly what we were doing together, what our motivation was uh, for being here. And uh, 
they were uh, they were actually quite friendly. They could have been uh, could have been dickheads, uh, uh, but they just you know wanted to know what we were doing. It seemed unusual to them, and uh, uh, they processed us and, and gave us our clearance, and and now we're here. So everything's so good. Now tell to the viewers what's your motivation to come here. Well, uh, my primary motivation actually in this particular case was to uh, enable uh, Sergey to document uh, what's going on here in the DNR uh, for the purpose of spreading information, uh, hopefully good information, and hopefully uh, to reach, uh, reach people that can maybe uh, help, uh, help the DNR uh, in, its, uh, in its quest to become an independent state, um, which is something I'm interested in. There's a lot of need here for uh, humanitarian aid, for example, and uh, uh, that's kind of how I initially got involved in this uh, through Russell Bentley and uh, through the uh, Don Bass Human Aid uh, Organization uh, donating uh, money uh, primarily to uh, uh, for uh, children in the uh, orphanages and uh, elderly people that have been affected uh, very negatively by this war. Uh, this war that was actually started by um, by, I hate to say it, by my own country, so um, uh, it's up to us, it's up to us to uh, work together to, uh, to finish this war any way we can, and hopefully in a, in a good way, hopefully the good guys will win. We are on a finish line to Donetsk, I guess less than 100 miles left, right? Oh, duh, duh, duh. less than 100 kilometers. 